Dave, you are the father of modern HR, and I have to ask you, as the father, what tips you have for your children, for your HR professionals? What can we, what, what, do, we, what do we need to do in 2021? First of all, let me just be very clear. I am the father of this family. <laughs> this is my mother who's still alive at 92, our children and our 10 grandchildren. Let me tell you the tips I have with our grandchildren. This weekend, we actually had all 10 of them here. Tip number one, raising children is a young person's game. <laughs> and I'm old. Um, care for your children. Mm -hmm. I hope as my children were here this weekend, all 10 of them, one by one, I'd look them in the eye and say, I'll get emotional. Yes. Uh, Sonia, I love you. You're a sweet girl. <laughs> Thanks for who you are. Marin, she's the oldest of the 10. You are a great big sister. Uh, Jonas, the youngest, mm -hmm. he doesn't talk much. Just hug him, mm -hmm. play catch. You know, I hope leaders and HR people, I, I did an essay a year or two ago. I said, HR folks are caregivers. And I talked about caregiving to my mom. Um, oh, I got to show one other picture just so people know that I'm real. This is my mom. This is her son. This is my son and our grandson, Jonas. You know, four generations. I'm a caregiver to my mom. And somebody wrote a LinkedIn article and said, HR is not a caregiver. Mm -hmm. I disagree. Mm -hmm. I disagree vehemently. Yeah, I'm a caregiver to my mom and I'm proud of it. I am going to care for her. And I hope my son will someday care for me. That doesn't mean I don't care about the business. Yeah. But I think in HR, we have a real stewardship and privilege to care for our people. Mm -hmm. And I help our business leaders care for our people. Sure. I'm proud of being a caregiver in HR. And in the world today, with all the emotional trauma that people are facing, the social and physical isolation, the health issues, yeah. I care in the last two weeks, not because of COVID, <laughs> for whatever reason, we've had a couple of people in some tragedies where they've lost loved ones, some older, some younger, just tragedies. Yeah. You know, what I see is communities coming together with love to yeah. surround those families. Uh, in one case, a grandfather who was older, in another case, a, a, a young mother with children. Mm -hmm. I hope we in HR metaphorically do that. I hope inside our companies, wherever we are, we come together with communities of love on wings of angels and care for our people. Yeah. What a privilege to be a caregiver. Yeah. We, we care about our employees. We want them to be successful. We want them to, uh, to nurture and uh, grow. Absolutely. And, and to deliver results. I'll yeah. give an example. I'm coaching somebody who's brilliant. One of the best executives. I can't name any more than that. Yeah. He's very demanding. <laughs> and so he would send a memo. You did not do this in this assignment. I've coached him. Here's now what he says. In order for you to accomplish what you can fully accomplish and achieve your potential in the company, you didn't do this. Mm. Notice those first 10 words. Yes. I care about you. Now I'm going to be critical. So it isn't just you failed, you did this wrong. It's mm -hmm. because I think you could deliver more. Yeah. You need to improve. And he's come back to me and he said, you know, that really does help. Yeah. I'm still critical. I'm still challenging. I'm, uh, and I'm not afraid to say that, but, but I do it in a spirit and a community of affection. I hope we are caregivers in HR. Yeah. I Thanks. know Meher, you are, you and I have talked. Yes. Uh, I feel from you, not just your brains and your hands and feet, but I feel your heart yeah. and you do care. Yeah, I do. Thank you for that. Dave. Okay. Thank you for that. And for the audience watching, tune in tomorrow for my final question with Dave.